we're ready to begin. Our first contestant number one, Yosef Atala, Ducky, Ducky, Yosef Atala. This <laughs> tale is about a bath, Ducky, and it is based on a true story. Ducky was floating on the waters of the bathtub. Sitting on the rim of the bathtub was the house cat, Whiskers. I don't understand you, Ducky, says Whiskers. For one, that there's this obsession with water, and I abhor water. But also, I think you lack ambition. I promenade through the house. I bath in the words of admiration that people have for me. Oh, such a beautiful fur. I rule the house. My scent is on everything and on everybody. You, you haven't been further than up to this shelf. Whiskers, duty calls on me here. Ducky re responds. Tommy wouldn't take a bath without me. He kicks and screams and splashes water. It takes the two of his parents to contain him. Without me, they would be helpless. Yes, Whiskers, it is true that my vocation is to be a shiny, squeaky, yellow distraction. But it's home, and I like it here. Aim for hire, Whiskers says. Do you know that you, a ducky like you, can be sailing the high seas? True story. There are thousands of bathroom duckies on the seas and the oceans of, of the world. <laughs> they're exploring, they're, they're going on adventures, they're exploring, exploring new places. Think bigger. Tommy's brought in for a, for a diaper change, but then plans change and he needs a bath. This is going to be a great day for Tommy because he's going to take a ferry ride and he's going to see the Treasure Island. And it, there's very little time for Tommy to be, to be playing around because we have very little time for the bathtub, so Tommy better be collaborating. And Tommy is collaborating. He, he extends his head, grabs Ducky, squeezes her, and Ducky says, squeak! Then again, squeak! 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 Bath is over! Squeak! 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 Tommy embarks uh, uh, on the trip with Ducky in his hand. Between squeaks, Ducky thinks to herself, this is an adventure! I'm finally going, maybe I'm going, I'm even going to be, to see the high seas and all the explorers that Whiskers talked about. And all I had to do was my ducky, oh, no, I, squeak, all I had to do was my ducky duty. In, uh, in Tommy's hand, ducky, ducky admires the beautiful landscape. There is a, there is Alcatraz in front of them, there are the two bridges on each side. A gal approaches the ferry. Tommy sees a girl, and as if to grab, uh, grab her, he extends his hand and says, Gah! And he lets Ducky go, fall in the water. Ducky lands and says, Yes! Yes, this is my opportunity! The ferry uh, disappears in the distance, and after a while, everything around her looks the same. The ocean, she rocks on the waves of the ocean, up and up, up and down. And she thinks to herself, now what? Back at home, Tommy is a big boy now, and he doesn't need a bath toy to bath. Uh, sitting on the rim of the bathtub is the house cat Whiskers, looking into water at a spot where Ducky used to float and keep her company. Because as you know, Toastmasters, sometimes you do not know that you have a friend until you lose them. So what is the moral of this story? The moral of this story is, fellow Toastmasters, do not believe tall tales. <laughs> and I'm the first speaker here by random.org, and unfortunately I do not know what the other contestants will say, but do not believe them. Do not believe them. 
And there is no such thing as 28,800 duckies exploring the oceans of the sea. Oh wait, that one is actually true. Please let that seat circulate and Mr. Dostmaster, thank you very much. I have one moment of silence for the judges to mark their balance.